Hello everybody, it's uh, Simon here, and it's with another set of uh, uh, questions that you've sent me. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, some of you have been quite serious questions this time, so I'll try not to be too boring with my answers. But they're, they're good questions, don't get me wrong, I'm not criticising them. But here goes. Right, so the first one is from uh, OSCO5, that's O-S-C-O-5. So whoever you are, thank you very much. Uh, you're from Daventry and your question is, a very, very hot summer, uh, is this a sign of global warming and what would you do about it? <laughs> well, I'd sit back and enjoy it. Sit in a swimming pool like some giant elephant and splash around in whatever water I can have unless we've had a hosepipe ban or whatever. And by the way, by a hosepipe ban, they, they do mean a hosepipe ban. You can still go out with a little uh, watering can and sprinkle some water here and there. It's just you're not using so much water. Um, no, no, on, a, on a serious note, I do know the in the UK uh, we had a Clean Air Act in the 1950s. And before then, we used to have smog which is smoke and fog and uh, all through the day and nobody could get around unless you had a friend who was blind. Uh, in the 19, I think it's 1954, but I could be wrong. Please uh, get back to me uh, with that date. Uh, we had the Clean Air Act and soon after that, no more smog. So that is proof that we do have an effect on our environment and we should be careful with what we do with it. But I also think that uh, some of the heat waves that we have and some of the freezing days that we have are probably more to do with the sunspots. Uh, I'll talk about that another time. So I'm not denying global warming. I'm not denying that we have an effect on our environment. I'm just saying that it's, if you look at the geology of our land, uh, bills become hot and cold for millions of years so so there we go but do put away your waste when you can one thing that infuriates me is when i'm driving along and you see some people just chuck their rubbish out the window it uh, drives me mad to be quite honest with you. but uh, next question from uh jezebel hello jezebel i had a cat when i was about eight and she lived for about 20 years. Um, beautiful cat. So, Jezebel from Glasgow asks, what is your opinion about Christopher Eccleston turning up at the London Film uh, Comic Con? Oh, it's about time, is my opinion. I know lots of people want to have a photograph, or, or at least to meet all, all the doctors that are still with us. Uh, and I know uh, Christopher has been holding out for whatever reason. Uh, from what I understand, um, it was a wonderful time over the weekend uh, and lots of people got to have photographs with not only Christopher Eccleston but most of the doctors too, as well as a few other people. So my opinion is welcome aboard to the convention land, uh, Mr Eccleston. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you uh, can have the courage to go to others. There we go. Uh, Juliet from Texas. Right, uh, Juliet um, uh, he said, says, do you think the world is flat? Uh, well, I've been 40,000 feet up in the air when I've been flying here, there and everywhere. And when you're at that height and there's no real cloud, you can actually see a curve. So it could be flat. And somebody's playing it like a like a wobble board. <laughs> but uh, seriously, no, I don't think the world is flat. Uh, and there's all sorts of things about shadows and light and that sort of thing that's proved it. I know one or two people have sent me messages saying that uh, people believe that because when they look at the horizon they can't see any curve, um, that the world must be flat. I don't think I need to respond to that, do you? So... <laughs> There we go. Um, but um, I seem to recall when I was at school that we were told it was a, uh, um, a spheroid that was flattened, and I think that's called a, an oblate, if that is right. And there's a polarate, I think. If, 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 a, if a sphere is squashed like that, becomes long, and it looks like a, a rugby ball or an American football uh, on, the, on its top, that would be 
polarate, I think. And oblate is when it's squashed flat and, and looks like um, a squashed flat thing. I think that's maybe where they got the um, the world is flat from. But uh, no, no, there we go. <laughs> and uh, what is a and finally uh, from uh, Georgia in oh I can't read my own writing now. Jo oh uh, Georgia from London can't read the word London is that funny? Um, what has shocked you in the news recently? Oh. <clears throat> Well, I felt very sorry for some chappy. Apparently he was 69 years old and he was done doing some cycle race and he had a heart attack and died. As you can imagine, I'm a firm believer that uh, exercise is not necessarily good for you. <laughs> I know whenever I was at, uh, doing a proper job, I was often the only one in the office because all the others had gone off to do a London marathon or whatever and had to take a week off to recover. Whereas Mr Blobby here... Uh, was left to do everything else, do everybody else's job. But uh, none of that. Um, uh, what has shocked me recently, I think finding out all the reports that charities in Haiti and other parts of the world have been complicit uh, with uh, some of the sex offenders and uh, uh, that have been sort of travelling around under the charities' banners, that's been a bit of a shock. Uh, and by complicit, for those who don't know what complicit means, it means that you have been working hand in hand um, with another party. I think that's what it is. You've been working hand in hand with another party, knowing that what you're doing is either wrong or immoral. I think that's what complicit means. I'm sure you'll put me right if I got it wrong. Um, yes, that uh, sort of took me a bit by surprise, um, as did the fact that the British government are being uh, criticised for being complicit. Uh, in the Guantanamo uh, situation based in America. Now, it's not news, really, because if you look through history, a lot of good has happened by certain parties uh, uh, working in what is later considered an immoral way um, to uh, make improvements. I'm sure those improvements have a financial implication somewhere along the line. But there we go. Now... That's the end of my questions. I hope uh, I hope I, I have answered them all. Please keep on sending them in, um, and um, I'll see if I can get round to them uh, SAAP. Uh, in the meantime, just be kind to everyone. Uh, just be kind. There's no reason not to be. So until the next time, bye.